on a hand clap of praise. Thanksgiving, so it's a great time to be thankful for something, yes, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You woke us up this morning. Yeah. You're here in our right mind. Yeah. We have another opportunity to be great, right? Yeah. yeah. All right. So, my name is Joshua Money. She read the, the great introduction. Thank you for introducing me. My pops is here. Pops. Amen. 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 Tabitha, my wife, is here. Jada is here. So, but, um, she read the great introduction about me. My name is Joshua Mundy. I am an owner of Music City Cleaners. I'm into entrepreneurship. That is my, my thing. That's what I do. Um, so in 2002, 2003, I decided to leave my job and say, you know what? I'm going to step out on faith and start a business. Okay? So I didn't have a business plan. I didn't have everything in order. I didn't have contracts in place. I just said, you know what? You know, working this job is not for me. You know, I knew my purpose, which is entrepreneurship. And I All said, right. you know what? I'm going to step out there on faith All right. and believe that, you know what? I'm going to make it happen. Right. All right. So in 2003, I did that. I left my job, no major contracts. And my first company was a janitorial company. So I started working at a janitorial company. I said, you know what, if I put in the work, I know with my faith and with my works, yeah, that yeah. something yeah. will take place. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay? Right. So the subject or the topic was faith without works is what? Dead. Yeah. Right? Faith without works is dead. Uh, but, and, and I was going to talk on the subject of where are the works. Yeah. But, I realized that Gordon has been in existence for how many years? 141 years? Yeah. 141 years, and the work that you all have been doing in the community, within the church, it shows. Right. So I said, oh, so we have faith, we have works, but is it, is it we're putting the work in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. we're, we're, we're doing the work. Right. But sometimes we have to adjust the work. All right. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that's what we're going to talk about today is adjusting the works. All right. Yeah. All right? Because look, we put in work. Every day we believe and we believe in God for something. Work Everybody right. believe in God yeah, for something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 All right? yeah. Every day we wake up, we say, you know what, we're going to put the work in. We're going to put the work in. We're going to put the work in. We're working, we're working. But we still don't see any fruits. Yeah. So that's frustrating. When you're putting all this work in, you say, God, I know this is what you have for me. I'm working on it. I'm putting the work in, yeah. but I'm not yielding anything. Yeah. All right? There's, there's nothing coming from it. So what is it, Lord? What am I doing wrong? Yeah. And sometimes we just walk away from it. We just say, you know what, forget it. It's over. It's not what for me. But sometimes you have to look at that plan and adjust the works. All right. Come on. You have to make adjustments yeah. to what we're doing. So we cannot do the same thing. Well. Over and over and over and over and over again yeah. Yeah. and expect different results. That's yeah. right. Right. So you have to make adjustments to see, okay, man, look, this is not working. How can I adjust? So there's a great book uh, written by a guy by the name of Stephen Johnson. Hmm. Have you heard of Stephen Johnson? All right. He's a great author by the name of Stephen Johnson. He wrote a book called Who Moved My Cheese? Right. Okay. Right. Yeah. Right. Have you heard of that book? Yeah. 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 All right. So Stephen Johnson wrote a book about Who Moved My Cheese? And it was two mice in a trap. And it was, they were in a maze. Okay. So they put cheese in the same area every day. So those two mice, they woke up in the morning. Oh, let's run to the food. Let's run to the cheese. And every day the cheese was right there. Yeah. All right. So they did this over and over and over and over again. Then one day they ran, and the cheese wasn't there. Yeah. And so, so what I'm saying, oh man, the cheese is not here. And they looked at each other, oh man, the cheese is not here. Right. All right, so they woke up the next day, they ran and said, okay, maybe, maybe this is a fluke. Oh, they forgot to put the cheese right here. Right. All right, so they ran back to that section again, and guess what, it was no cheese. <laughs> so what I'm saying, Oh, man, they had to move the cheese somewhere. Right. So one of them 
he ran and said, man, I'm going to go find the cheese. Right. <laughs> he ran and he said, hey, I'm, I'm going to go look through this maze and I'm going to find the cheese. Another, the other mice went and kept going to the same place right. looking for cheese. Yeah. Going to the same place mm. every day, every day looking for cheese. The other one said, you know what? I'm going to make a way and find this cheese. Right. Cheese is money. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's what we call. That's what we call uh, uh, money. And out there, we call it cheese. That's right. That's right. And who moved my cheese? So when you're in, in life, you have to make adjustments and say, "Man, who moved the cheese? Mm -hmm. I'm working this job. I'm working this job. I'm working overtime, but it's not. It's not yielding anything. So who moved the cheese? Where did it go? So either you're gonna keep going and doing the same thing over and over and over. Again. No, they call no. that insanity. Yes. Insanity. Yes. We keep doing the same thing over and over and over again, expecting different results. But we have to make adjustments yes. right. along the way so we can get to our destination. Yes. So I want to talk to you all just briefly. I ain't gonna be for you long. We want to talk about uh, so the, the the scripture talks about faith, and it says the faith. Faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. That's Hebrews 1 and 1. Then it talks about uh, Hebrews 11 and 6. And without faith, it is impossible to please God. So you have to have faith yeah. to please God. Yeah. But guess what, though? It is the, the trick about it. But then James 2, 1, 14 through 26, it says, but, without, but, with, but faith without works is dead. Yeah. Right. <laughs> so you can't get around work. That's right. You can't get around it. You got to put the work in. So we're going to talk about three steps to working effectively. Three steps to working effectively. One, and before we do that, before we do that, when I do my entrepreneurship classes, when I talk about entrepreneurship, we always discuss pens to paper, plans to action. Okay? So I want y'all to say that after me, okay? Pens to paper, plans to action. All right, now get your pen. It's the paper. Let's get to work. All right? So number one is understand your purpose. All right? Three steps to working effectively. So number one is to understand your purpose. What are you here for? What is your why? All right? Let's write that down. What is my why? Like, why am I here? Why do I come to church every Sunday, Sunday after Sunday? Why do I go on that job? Why do I do the things that I do? What is my why? All right, so three questions I want you to answer is, why are you here? Why? What difference do you want to make? And then what will keep you going through all the obstacles and adversity that you will face? Hmm. Or what will keep you going? What's going to put you further? Is it your family? Is it your dreams? What's going to keep you going? Because you're going to face obstacles that are going to make you want to quit. Yeah. All right, every day we wake up, is a job, it's work, that you wake up and want to put work in, you know? It, it takes time, it takes effort. So when you have a why and you have a purpose, it gives you something to pour your energy into. It's good. If you don't know where you're going, you're going to be lost. Mm -hmm. All right. That's right. right. That's so you need to know where you're going. Where are you going? What's my why? All right, y'all got that? So that, first, why are you here? Number two, what is the difference you want to make? What difference you want to make? And then number three, what will keep you going through all the obstacles and adversity in your life? All right, once you understand your why, we have everything we know we can pour all our energy, resources into to making something happen, to making our dreams come to reality, all right? Good. Number two is surround yourself with a good team, mm -hmm. all right? That's right. Now, Jesus, now, if Jesus, all right, had to go recruit 12 disciples, Right. What makes you think you can do it by yourself? Mm. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> <laughs> what makes you think you can do this by yourself? And in our community, we have the Allen mentality. Okay, it's hard for they say it's hard for black folks to work together. All right, it's hard for us because everybody wants to be the chief. My, my. Nobody wants to be the Indian. Yeah. Everybody wants to be the boss hog. All right, but you have to have a team to be effective to work together to make change in the community, mm. Amen. all right? What are we here for? Why are we coming here? Why are we here every day? We read the mission. What's the mission of Goy Memorial? Make disciples of Christ. Make disciples of Christ, to know him, to share him, to be witnesses for him. 
in and out of the community. Right. So that is the mission. That is the goal set. Yeah. Now, you cannot do that by yourself. That's right. Mm -hmm. You can on your job. You have an opportunity to witness something to somebody. Yes. But to make true and effective change that they can see in and through the community is going to take all of us. That's right. All right? It's going to take all of us to make that happen. But what happens is what happens. We all, we, are, we, have, we all have talent. God has blessed us individually with talent. All right? I may be able to sing. There's a good usher right here. There's, there's a good drummer. There's good musicians. There's all those great things. But what we try to do is we try to get into somebody else's lane. Mm. Okay. 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 All right? Hey, that's what happens. Uh, the bar ball says it best. Stay in your lane. All right? <laughs> What happens is, is that we try to perfect somebody else's lane, but we need to be perfecting our own lane. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's right. And we're not, we're not able to be successful because we're all over the place. All right? I did not grow. I didn't start growing in business. I didn't start seeing true success in business until I got a ticket. Until I said, you know what? I cannot be the accountant, the marketing person, the CEO. I go drive the van. I do everything because I want to keep it all. No, I, don't want, I don't want to share. I want to keep all the money. So I, I, I'm going to do it all. I'm going to have all the jobs. And I'm not going to do anything. I'm going to do it all. But until I've got a team and hired people to, their, to work in their lane, that's what they do. You're a marketing person. Why am I going to cross over it? No, I'm going to prove something. Right. But I'm not going to work in your lane because that's what God blessed you with. Right. So stay in your lane. Uh -huh. When you stay in your lane, we can effectively work together, and we can we can go to our course. Our, what's our destination? To make disciples out of Christ, to know Him, to share Him, and to be witnesses in and throughout the community. So, if we only can do that, if we work together. That's, that's, right. that's what we have to do. All right. So we got number number one. What's number one? Understand your purpose. Understand your purpose. All right. Number two. Surround, surround yourself with a good team. All right. So make sure you evaluate your circle. If your circle is not improving you, you need to let them go. Wow. You need to start recruiting. They say in business, they say in business that you that you you sell your strengths and you buy your weaknesses. Mm. All right? You sell your strengths and buy your weaknesses. Mm. So hey, where you're strong at, cool. Let me go get, let me go buy my weaknesses. Let me surround myself with people that can get us to the mission, to the ultimate goal, to the ultimate purpose. Because we, we need we understand our why. Number one is understanding your why. Now, who's going to help me get to my why? Who are the people around me that can help me get to my destination? Mm. All right? Then number three. I said it's going to be short and simple. Short and simple. Number three is leaving a legacy of good works. That's good. All right? Leaving a legacy of good works. When you leave here, what are they going to say about you? Mm. All right? What? We've been here for 141 years. What would the community say right now about Gold Memorial? Mm -hmm. huh? Would they say they put in good work? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Are they saying that we are we are accomplishing the goal that we had set out to do? Yeah. What would they say? So you want to leave a legacy of good work. So when you understand your why, you build your team. Now it's time to leave a legacy. Now it's time to give back. That's my whole thing. I understood. What I understood is that I cannot do it by myself. But it has to be bigger than just me and my family. Yeah. So when I leave here, they can't, they can't never say Josh didn't try to help me. Right. They can't never say Josh didn't try to give the game. That's why I call it giving the game. Yeah. Because when I, when I came up in entrepreneurship, nobody wanted to help me. I wrote letters to get on mentors. I, I did everything I could to try to get help. But I, you know, I nobody helped me. So I had to figure it out on my own. And if figuring out on my own, guess what? You lose so much. Yeah. You lose so much money, time, resources. You lose so much. But when you connect with other people, they can show you the way. Mm -hmm. show, that's why it's important, college students, to get a mentor. That's why it's important, because there's so much knowledge in Gore Memorial <coughs> that you can share some information with me that will help me along the way, that will help me from losing. That's good. You know, so we have to shorten the learning curve up for each other. All right, shorten it up so we can leave a legacy of good works. 
That's what we want to do. That's our ultimate goal. Yes, sir. When God, when you go to the throne and say, hey, my, uh, well, you've done well. Yeah. My good faithful servant. That's right. You've done what you're right. supposed that's to right. do. That's right. That's, what, that's the ultimate goal, and that's what we have to do. So number one, what's number one? Understand, Understand your purpose. purpose. Understand your purpose. Mm -hmm. All right, what is your why? Why are you doing this? Mm -hmm. Why do you wake up every day, every Sunday, and come to Gore Memorial at 10 o'clock? Why? Well, what's the purpose? Mm -hmm. are, you, are you coming? Is it just routine? <laughs> is this what you do on Sundays? I, I got to come. I got to go to church at 10. I'm I got to go, go give me some sweats at 12 <laughs> and watch the game. Yeah. Like, what? Like, well, why are we doing this? All right? So once we understand why are we doing this, yeah. then we can, we'll have something to pour our resources and our direction into, which is understanding your purpose, your why. All right? And then number three, we're going to leave a legacy of good works, mm -hmm. right? Once we leave that legacy, hey man, we have no other choice but to be winners yeah. in the community and doing great things in the community. So when we walk out of here, you, you walk out with your head held high and knowing that, man, we're gonna put the work in. That when we walk up and up and down, how is this, Hyman Street? Herman. Herman, Herman. Herman Street. That's right. <laughs> We walk up and down Herman Street. Everybody in Herman, from Cheshire to, to Fisk, all these areas know about the great work that Gordon is doing. It's good. But if nobody knows, hey, well, hey if nobody knows, what is the legacy we're going to leave? Oh, they're going to say, oh, that's just a nice, pretty old church right there on, on Hyman. <laughs> it was real nice. I don't know what it is. It's a grocery store now. Yeah. <laughs> 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 the education they take took place. It used to be a nice old building. But yeah, we're going to get some produce in here now. Because <laughs> church is a business. Understand that. Church is a business. So we have, the church has to produce fruit. Yeah. Right? We are the fruit. Yeah. All right? Yeah. We are the fruit. So if the church is not producing fruit in business, look, if I don't produce new customers, mm -hmm. all right, and if I don't make the current customers that I have happy, guess what? I'm going to be out of business. Mm -hmm. that's, that's just what it is. That's, mm -hmm. that's business, one-on-one, -on -one, okay? Church is a business, all right? It's what it is. It's a business. It has lights. It has water. It has overhead. Yes. It has employees. That's business. Yeah. So each and every day, we got to figure out how we're going to keep these lights on. That's right. That's what I work about every day. I'm going to keep these lights on. I'm going to keep Zion in private school. All right? How am I going to do that? What's the plan? Yeah. And so I have to put a plan, pens to paper, and plans to action. If I don't put any action in, if I don't put the work in, yes, I can have faith. I can pray to God all day long. Right. Yes, Lord. Yes. Yeah, yes, right. Lord. Yes. Right. But if I do not put that work in, I'm not going to yield any fruits. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to yield any fruits. I'll give you an example. I'll give you, I'll give you an example of faith and works. So, yes. So, uh, it's 2018 coming up. Generally, everybody, they write their plans down and goals. And one of the main ones is I'm going to eat healthy and I'm going to work out. That's that's hey, gym memberships go through the roof. All right, the, fir the first quarter they sign up the most people ever. All right, in the first quarter. But what happens is, yes, you have faith, you believe you're gonna lose weight, you're gonna eat right, you're gonna do all those great things. All right, then you put the work in. Yes, you put the work in. All right, you go to the gym every morning, put the work in. But then every day for lunch you eat Popeyes. <laughs> so, our, so the question is, is, are we being counterproductive to the work? Yeah. All right? We put the faith, we got the faith, we got the work, yeah. but sometimes we're counterproductive yes, sir. Right. That's yes, right. sir. to the work. That's right. yes, sir. So let's not be counterproductive to the work. Yes, sir. Let's, let's, not, let's not do that. Let's not put faith in, put the work in. And we're cussing each other out in the parking lot. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. Hey, <laughs> let's not be counterproductive. Mm. All right? We are a community. That's right. Gordon is a community. Amen. Mm. All right? So if we don't like each other, let's make it work. Let's make it right. Let's go, let's go talk about it. Let's go do lunch. Let's talk about it. Yeah. yeah. All right? Because we have an ultimate goal. 
We have the ultimate goal in hand. The, hand, the goal is what? What's the mission? All right. So, hey, we cannot make disciples for Christ in and out of our community if this community we don't like each other. Uh, my, my Lord, my Lord, my Lord. <laughs> in this community right there, we don't get along. Mm. <laughs> All right? And we don't sit and break bread and eat together. That's right. Like, we can't do that. So let's leave a legacy. So when they think about Gordon, they think about the legacy that we have left. Right. And say, man, hey, those people, they were tight. It's good. All right? Hey, they came and knocked on my door when my son was murdered. <laughs> All right? <laughs> they came and sat with me. Yeah. All right? Yeah. When I was hungry, they brought us some food. That's right. Yes, sir. All right? Yes, sir. Hey, when we was when we was thirsty, hey, they provided some water. Yeah. yeah. Uh, they didn't say go on your way. Yeah. All right? <laughs> no, no. We have to leave that legacy. So when you wake up every Sunday, come with that mission in mind. That yes, it's bigger than me. This is bigger than me just coming to get fueled up. And I'm I'm getting fueled up so I can share. That's good. Share this word, share this knowledge, share this information. All right? And we got it. Yes, sir. Right, so look, we got three, and then we out of here. All right, so just let's pen the paper, plan the action. So number one is what? Understand your purpose. Your purpose. Number two. Surround yourself with a good team. All right, and number three. Leave a legacy of good works. There it is. This is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God.